An Eastern Kentucky couple is lucky to be alive tonight after being stranded in the Red River Gorge for more than 12 hours. Our Georgia Reed Godfrey spoke to the volunteers responsible for saving their lives. She joins us now with more on the treacherous rescue. There are four helicopters in the state that have hoisting capabilities to drop paramedics to the scene and to bring patients out of hard-to-reach areas. One of those helicopters is owned by Kentucky State Police and played a major role in this rescue mission. Let's go ahead and get to this incredible video posted by KSP. Now, what you're seeing here is footage of the paramedic being dropped to the couple that had been stranded in Red River Gorge since 9 o'clock Monday night. One of the canoers tells me he told his father if they didn't return by a certain time to call for help. Wolf County Search and Rescue in the Red Star Wilderness EMS answered that call, spending more than 15 hours rescuing the couple. First, they had to locate the pair, which was hard to do. The cold weather that night made it difficult for the helicopter to pick up a thermal signal from the couple. But once the couple was located early Tuesday morning in a shelter under a cliff, the KSP helicopter brought in the paramedics who were hosted down to rescue the pair. Um, so, uh, Wolf County Search and Rescue and Kentucky State Police were, you know, really, really doing the legwork to find these people, and they found them uh, alive. Uh, but they were stranded in an area of the gorge that is uh, as rugged as it gets, uh, extremely difficult to access, and extremely difficult to get people out of. Um, one of the individuals who they found um, had some uh, challenges um, being able to move out of that terrain themselves. That's right. One of the canoers had injuries to her legs from when the canoe capsized. Now, coming up on the news at 10, I'll tell you more on how the couple got into the Red River Gorge and were stranded for more than 12 hours. And we'll hear more from the agencies that made this rescue mission possible. Marvin.